to load the firmware on your Radtail RT880, go to this page here, click the bottom one. Most of the Radtails that are shipped now are after this serial number. So click this bottom one here and you'll go to your downloads. Uh, click that and this window appears. No need for a password with this one. Let's move this over here. Okay, and then we're going to double click now here, the upgrade. Like so, click more info, run anyway. Like so, and now it's giving us instructions. So it says, connect the data cable. We've done that. You right click here on your Windows Square, right click device manager. It's a USB-C cable that goes into the actual RT880. And then the other end goes into your PC. Go down to you see ports. <clears throat> double click and then look ch340 is com number three we need so we've got this uh, we're going to select com three and we need to get it before we do anything else we need to press and hold the ptt key and turn it on so i'm going to do the top ptt key off press turn on and we're now in firmware mode it's gone like a blue color the led um, and so the firmware is built into this and then click the upgrade button like so and then look at the bottom and if this works see it going green so there was a password on the if you've got an older radio there is a password go to the Facebook page and just drop me a little message there what was that password I did put it on the Facebook page um and because I, I actually can't remember it right now so let's let this go through and this is going to enable you now to have um the the new functions that i'm gonna add at the at the end of this video um and just remember that you know this software firmware is working on the non-gps model and the gps model so that's rebooted and if we go to menu and go to basic settings then up until we see version select and you'll see there look okay version 8 you know 1.06 back and if we go down go menu you'll see we've got the extended settings there that's the gps and aprs and as i said um we can also now we hold down we've got and you do have to program a button we've now got monitor mode and scan mode when you're using the you have to hold it down the hash which wasn't there before and we can also now mix and match the frequencies um, now to do that you do need to make sure uh, let's just see if it will let me do it now so we're in VFO mode by pressing the hash go to the top with the orange button I'm going to go 0, 0, 2, 2, 7. Five five five. That's a classic sort of five. CB. It's let me mix and match. If yours isn't doing that, turn it off. Hold down the down arrow, and then turn it on. So now I've just, I'm putting mine back to the other method. Keep your finger on, and that's normal mode. It says RT eight eighty. But if we just do that again quickly, you'll see full band. Now, when it says full band, you can mix and match. The frequency is you've got all the latest seconds that there will be new firmware for the radtail so uh th thanks for watching please hit the like subscribe and so much more to learn about these radios 73 all the best fantastic